I don't know how many times I've took this heavy door off of this machine and put it back on it. Yeah, I'm done. We got to drill some holes. Let's relieve this sucker. So follow along and watch what I do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drill me a hole right here so I can get to the adjuster so I can take the tension off the blade. And then I'm going to come around here on the front and I'm going to cut me a hole right here in it. Yeah, right right here. I'm going to cut me a hole right here in it where I can see the, 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 the tightening gauge so I know when it's tight or not. So let me pull it off and show you what's in here. This ain't heavy. I'm tired of carrying it. I'm gonna put it over on the table and drill a hole through that thing, you know? So here's what we go. Take you for a little look. Here's the adjuster that I need to get this bolt from the outside right here. Y'all see that? I need to be able to get that bolt from the outside so I don't have to take the cover off. And I need to be able to see this gauge right here to tell how tight my blade is. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna loosen everything up and uh, drill a hole in that thing. So let's go drill a hole. And then we'll finish redoing this saw here in a little bit. Some pretty good shape. It ain't bad. It cuts pretty decent. We'll get there. It's old total shop. Bone of a shop smith. And you'll notice this one's got the channel in it right there. And that's one of them they intended to make the wheel go up and down with a bolt from the top up here. They intended to make this wheel go up and down in that slot with a bolt on top like everybody else's band saw. But yeah, they figured out real quick that, well... They may have known better, but in this part right here, supposedly, I guess that's cast iron in this machine. That part right there, and a lot of them in the real, in the shop smith, are, uh, those are aluminum, so they can deflect a little bit. It seems to track pretty good, so we'll check it on out, but I'm going to drill some holes in it. Let's get it done. I'm going to set y'all right here so y'all can get a view from the side. There you go. Let's see what it takes to drill a hole in this thing. Y'all ready? Set this thing up here. You see that? We're just going to drill a hole through this casting. Oh, that ain't bad. That wasn't bad at all. Well, let's hit it with another bit or two before we, before we hit it with it. Before we go with the step bit. Step bit, open it up a little bit. And after we get this done, we're going to go over and see what it's going to take. <clears throat> Cut that hole in there and mark it out. Let's go see if it'll fit, you know, after we got that done. Okay, let's see. If we put this on here now, will it line up where I can turn that bolt? Well, I'll be darned it does, don't it? I'm going to reach right in there and get to that. Okay, good. Now, guys, we got this one opened up, and that little hole's right there where it needs to be to, to get to that adjuster. See the adjuster right here? Let me give you a light. See? There's your adjuster. So now I can get to it without having to take this thing apart. Now we need to figure out where we need to cut a window in so we can see in here. So we've got to measure on that and check that out next. Let me get my, my stick. Okay, we're going to go from this bolt 
to it straight up. We get that a first measurement. Okay, so we want to go. I need to be able to see it from about right there. So I'm going to cut that at three and a half inches above that bolt hole. Okay. So we're going to measure up here. Three and a half. That'd be a good start. And then I think we ought to finish that hole at about six and a half. So we want to go six and a half up to the next one. Y'all can't see what I'm doing, I know. I'm sorry. Now, from this edge where I am, where I'm fitting here, I want to go, I want to be able to see from one and a half to three. Okay, we got it. We got it figured out. Let's go cut it out, okay? Let's do it. Okay. What we're gonna do, we're gonna come in an inch and a half right there. And then we're gonna come in three right there. No, no. Three right. Inch and a half, three. There's your three. That should be close. That should be real close. Let's see what we got. Somebody asked me one day, said, how you do that? And I said, wide open. You know, if y'all watch me work very much, I could grab this grinder up with this wheel on it and if I had a heartbeat. I'm in a heartbeat. It's my favorite tool. Rough. We're gonna make it better. Let's go look. Let's go look. See if it's any better. Oh, yeah. That ain't bad. I can see it. Check it out. Y'all ready? Now I can see when I got it in there. If I got it right, and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clean up the edges on that hole, make it pretty, and then I'll put a piece of plexiglass in the back. Simple as that. You just cut a hole. I got tired of taking it off. Cleaned it up a little bit. And put a little bit of work on it there. Now I can see the. So check it out. I can get to the adjuster right there. I can get the adjuster here now. And I can see in here to see when my blade's tension properly. Right there. And I'm on the old total shop, or as some people call it, the total turd. That's it. That's what I've been told. Some people call it the total turd. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, that's what that is. I need to check the belt tensioner on this thing, so I might as well get that before I put this back one more time. 
Because the tensioner seems to be out of adjustment from what I was told. So I guess I'm supposed to loosen it up here and do this. So let me get the wrench. Y'all want to follow along with me or they do this, see what happens? Okay, I'm going to loosen the tension up a little bit more on this thing. It's supposed to take all the tension off of it as far as I know. Now, it's reading way over here. At 8th inch right there. That's really loose. There's no way a blade's going to run at that. Let's see what happens. Oh, it come off the reel. I guess that's the problem we're going to have with that thing when I, if I don't watch out when I take this thing off, ain't I? You see? It's already reading 3 8 right there. And there's just no way that that's going to work. Check that bearing up there. This here is running against the blades. That's fine, but this here is where a problem is. And I think I need to take the tension off of it, it said. off but it's still reading like quarter we should be reading nothing right now Okay. As from what I've been told, this thing should be aligned to where loosen this screw up and align this here. Get this in my hand where I can work. Loosen this up and swing this over and align this to where it's right at that corner right there is what I was told. So that's where I'm going is right there and I'm gonna tighten that thing up and see what it does. Let's try it. As old man said, let's give it a whirl. Okay, got that tight. Now, the blade's on. Tension's off. Let's put some tension on the blade. Okay, now, that says core eight. And that says quarter. And that should be there but it's bottomed out over here oh it's not I see okay that should be quarter right there that should be tension for this blade if it's right so we just have to test it and see won't we So, let's put the cover on, close her up. I gotta go to the store and pick up a piece of plexiglass so I can put a piece of plexiglass in it, but I'm gonna get this up so I can clean the floor because I was in the middle of cleaning when I stopped to do this. Yep, stop. I stopped doing what I was doing so I can put these bolts on here. I just got tired of doing this. I have to take all three of these bolts out Reach in here behind you guys. I got one more of these. 